So you just ended your studies and want to move out of your crappy student apartment, but don't really have the money to live on your own. And one thing you really don't want is to move back with your parents, uh, a well-known fear for most of us. Yes, and with us today we have Carmen, and she's here to tell us all about the latest solution for this problem. So Carmen, tell us, what is the solution? Well, I'm actually in it right now. Uh, it, the project is called Hyman's One, and it's, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like a, a little home just for me. It's a one-person uh, household, and it's, it's, it's great. Cool. Uh, so you're, uh, you're the first one testing one of these houses. What, what does your home look like? Um, uh, you want to see it? I can show yeah, you sure. around for a bit. Um, behind me here is the kitchen. I don't know if you can tell. It's a bit much sunlight. Uh -huh. And I have my, uh, well, my living, my living room, my living area right here. And above me there is like an uh, entresol or a vida. Mm -hmm. And nice. um, well, it's basically just, I have a bathroom, I have a living room, I have a kitchen, I have a, a, a separate bedroom to sleep in. So I have everything just for myself. So that's kind of luxurious for Amsterdam standards. So that's why I'm very, very happy about it. It looks really nice, but most young people Thanks. want to live in the city centers. Um, why would you want to live at vacant sites? Well, um, I don't really feel the need, I'm, I'm 20 years, 28 years old right now, and I don't really feel the need to be um, in the middle of the, the center of Amsterdam all the time now, because I mean, I'm getting old, <laughs> and I like quiet places, I like green, and I like, uh, you know, just having my own um, piece of, piece of, uh, I don't know, quiet uh, uh, surroundings. Living. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. do you think this is the solution for uh, urban places? Yeah, I think so too, because there's a lot of vacant places where uh, they are planning to build houses or whatever, but nothing is happening to those places. So why not use it for temporary houses like these? And I mean, there's a lot of people um, from my age that are uh, done with studying, just uh, beginning at, at their first jobs mm -hmm. and they're totally uh, ready to, to move in a, a better place but there's not there's nothing for us here so that's why I think there's a lot of people who would love to live in uh, these houses. Well thank you Carmen for sharing this with us and if you want to learn more about these houses check out interconnection.com.